Who is that? Uh, uh, how may I help you? <laughs> Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. I'm here to see where you meet Oma say. I'm sure I'm at the right address. We. Oui. Uh, Hello. Uh, <coughs> you are the wrong address. <laughs> what do you mean by my the wrong address? They said this is number 25 and I asked around and uh, this is number 25. That's what they told me. See, let me tell you now. You cannot be here to see the same way me that I know. It's, it's, it's not possible, my dear. You know, just leave it. It's not possible. Okay, okay. Can you just go in and find out if she's expecting any guest? Is it that you're not even hearing what I'm saying? Can't you hear me? I'm telling you again, you are the wrong address. Simple. See, let me advise you very well now. Listen, because, you know, I like advising young ladies. Go away. You are the wrong venue. <laughs> I'm going to call where you mean and tell that I'm, I'm being embarrassed at her gate. Nonsense. Right. <laughs> Someone like you cannot even have a new number. <laughs> Why are you calling? Hello? <laughs> Where are you me? Mm. I've been outside your gate now for some time. I, I, as in, I'm, I'm not even understanding. And your security guy will let me in. <laughs> so for your mind now, if, 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 if you've called my madam, <laughs> you can't even have someone like you can't even have her, no? Okay. Ah, ma. What's going on? Ah. Good afternoon, ma. Why are you embarrassing my friend? Your friend? Ma, <laughs> no. I've not seen her before. That. So that's why you had the right to embarrass my friend? That's why you had the right to warn her off? Listen, okay, whenever we have a visitor outside, you come in and confirm. Am I clear? Oh, oh, no. No, Please let this never happen again. I've not seen this friend before. That's why I'm... <laughs> This is my first day in your house and this is what I get. I'm so sorry, Harriet. I've missed you so much. I'm so, so sorry. Please, I'll make it up to you. All right? Let's go in. This I'm security sorry. guy needs some whooping. Don't mind him, Joe. He won. But my... I'm sorry, Harriet. Yeah. So How can this person be madam friend? This one that looks like someone that sells a book. Like, <laughs> house help. Something is wrong. Wow, this is luxury. Your mom sure has a great taste. Of course, here goes her watchword. If it's not costly, it's not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, Harriet, I can't imagine that you are seated in my living room this moment. Someone please pinch me. I beg you, stop being a drama queen. You know that I've been here a long time and going on because of my job. But what do you mean? It's not people that is lucky to have their parents food their bills after graduation. But like me, I have to work to survive. Thank God I even got a job here. At least we've breached the distance now. Um, I understand, okay? That's why. It's just that I miss of a friendship. It's not been the same since our graduation. Mm. <laughs> Don't worry. Now that I know that you live in a very big mansion, you live in paradise, I hope I'm visiting you often. In fact, I hope I spend weekends in your house. I can spend weekends, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, Harriet, can we go to my room now? Why? I just had a car hog now. That must be your mom, right? Oh my god! Finally, I get to meet the almighty Mrs. Omase. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. Yeah.
good, 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 good. Um. <laughs> good afternoon, ma. Mom, meet my friend. We were cosmates. Harriet. Harriet, who? Harriet Edochema. Edoche. Daughter of the popular actor. No, ma. Double chief. It'll cheer one of his shaky community. <laughs> What's that, Oma? Oh, it'll cheer the minister. No, my father is just a. Nobody. I tell as much. I mean, I perceived your cheap perfume. Mom? Now, what sort of nonsense is this? So, you now go about. Bringing peasants into my house. I mean, please don't do this to my friend. Please. Friend? This friend? There has never been a time where queens familiarize themselves with commoners. You call this your friend? Mommy, please. She even has a sponge on her head for a weaver. Mommy, stop it. Um, Harriet. Harriet? I'll oh, just leave. Harriet, no, 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 please don't. Don't, okay? Do Harriet, you listen. Get it, hey! Get back, young lady. You are not stepping your foot out of that door. What is it? No, mom, what is it? Why are you always doing this? Why are you always depriving me from being with my friends like I were still in the, in the university? I am done. I'm a graduate. So please let me be. Really? Hold on. Did you say she's from your school? That thing from your school? Obviously, she will stay on a scholarship. She cannot afford your fees. Mom, I please, they should stop doing charity for crying out loud. Mommy, can you please stop? You did the same thing to the only friend I had in school, Toyo, see? And I lost that friendship. I can't go. I can't continue like this. You, you just have to let me be, Mom. I can't lose Harriet. You are not losing anything. She's worthless. So you are not losing nothing. Hey, now you listen to me. Learn how to make friends within your class and caliber. And not... Some stupid, hungry-looking creatures that would want to rip you off at any slightest chance they get. I'm so sorry. What is all this? Oh my God!
I think it's time to deal with your idleness. Don't you think so? You're the one who stopped me from getting a job when I wanted to. And who says it's about you going to get a job? Hey, I can't even stand. You calling some other people sir or ma, people I know you can't even employ. Mom, the experience will worth the while and I'll get to learn new things. This experience you're talking about comes with disrespect to our name. I will not take it. What am I even saying? Listen, I want you to go on to this global with our co-owner. Mom, but I'm not interested in working in your company. I beg your pardon? You mean your company? Come on, Yemi. Whatever belongs to me, belongs to you. Your certification in economics will be of good use there. So, let me know when you want to come on board. Mom? Yes, darling? Harriet is a good friend to me. She was literally the only genuine friend I had back then in school. And I do not want to lose our friendship. Sweetheart, she should be the one scared of losing you and not the other way around. Come on, hear me. When will you learn to know your worth? When will you learn to carry yourself as you should? These people are supposed to admire you from a distance. Now you listen to me. You do not need them. You do not need their friendship. And please can we eat in peace? Thank you so much for agreeing to meet up with me. Thank you. I bet. I almost changed my mind. Um, Harriet, I'm truly sorry. I'm really, really, really sorry. What my mother did to you that day was despicable. And I'm totally against it. I'm sorry. So you know who your mother was and you still invited me to your house. You should have warned me ahead of time now. Uh -uh. If I didn't even know you, I'd have felt maybe you brought me to your house to humiliate me. Ah, no, 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 Harriet. I will never. I can never do such a thing to you. I haven't had friends come over in years. So I thought my mother had changed. Besides, she wasn't meant to return home when she did. Anyways, I understand. Your mother does not want you to hang around with broke girls like me. So, what do you mean? We shouldn't even be here in the first place. Eh? That is why I won't stop picking your calls. Um, uh, Harriet, so you want our friendship to crumble just like that because of my mom? What do you mean? Your mother insulted me. She insulted me and my family. I felt belittled before her that day. Huh. Um. Harriet, I'm really sorry. I'm very, very, very sorry, okay? I know how you feel. And I'm so sorry about what my mother did to you. And thank you. Thank you so much for agreeing to meet with me. But Harriet, I can understand if you no longer want this friendship. But just know that I won't have any other friend anywhere anymore and i'll just have to it's okay 
It's okay. <laughs> All right, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I'm so sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you came prepared because I'm about to order everything that is in this place. Oh, that is the only way I can make it up. Oh, no problem. I came fully prepared. So, what do you want? <laughs> in fact, I'm not even ordering again. I don't want your mother to come and sue me for spending her daughter's money. Really? So you're going to use that against me now? <laughs> God, you that job. I'm very hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I won't buy the game myself. Don't worry. Oh, I'm surprised. <laughs> Hello? Please, can I get your menu? Wait, Tao! What do you want? Okay. This parfait is really nice. Uh, thank you. Um, so what do you care for? Remember we had this at that other restaurant? I don't want all this kind of food. I want swallow. Swallow? Yeah, yeah. swallow. Okay, swallow. What, what type of soup? All the soup. <laughs> <laughs> but that's me. That's me. Yeah, for you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Wow, well, Susan, honestly, you don't know how much I've missed you. And you have no idea how I have anticipated your reset. Are you sure? Oh, Uncle Arise. Who you mean? My beautiful damsel. How are you? I'm fine, sir. I didn't know you were coming. You used to reason in and reason out like a ghost. Oh. Susan, <laughs> you didn't tell her I was coming. Well, not when she's been giving me attitude for some days now. Mm -hmm. Come on, when are you both going to stop this your cat and dog attitude? Perhaps when mommy learns to stop looking down on people. Can you imagine? She doesn't know how hard I've been trying to protect her from the hands of wrong people. And she's there, judging me. Mom. What's your definition of the wrong people? I'll be 25 in, in, in a few days. I'm no longer a kid, Mom. I can take good care of myself. Well, it doesn't look to me like you can take good care of yourself. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? When people see both of you... I mean, I don't know what, whether to call it drop throttling or whatever. At each other. But they don't know that you are fond of each other. Mommy thinks I'm still 12. I'm no longer a child. Really? Look at a fat chick. Mm, leave me alone, Joe. You will keep me my little baby girl. <laughs> Drama queens. <laughs> my angel. Mom. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's a girl. <clears throat> I wish uh, I and Leonard we we'll have this kind of chemistry to exchange. Nah. Okay. Your son is too grumpy to notice how sweet you are. Oh, mom, can you please get a room? Yeah, shut up. I'm out of here. Get out. Shush you. Not turning this girl into something else. All right. Let's go upstairs. Okay. Mm. Let me lead the way. All right.
my daughter's cake and rice cake. Oh, that's perfect, by the way. And one more thing. I would like you also to send some of your catchers to me. Yes, we're throwing a party for her this evening. Hmm? Okay, let's say jello fries, fried rice, amalane we do. Just African dishes. Mm. <laughs> All right, just uh, send me the cuts and I will do a transfer. Bye bye. Mom, <laughs> thank you so much, Mom. <laughs> Happy birthday to you, sweetheart. Thanks, Mommy. Thank you for the gifts. I love oh, it. You've seen it already. Mm -hmm. It's Just outside. Now. I got your favorite color. <laughs> yes, Mom. Thank you so much. I love it. I'm thank you. you. It. Thank you, Mommy. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks. So, uh, go on. Invite your friends over. We're throwing a party for you this evening. There are no friends to invite over. Now, what is that supposed to mean? How about Larry? How about Fumi? How about Laura? They're about... your friends and associates' children, Mom. Not my friends. Come on, Yemi. You've met them already and you got along with them. So what are you talking about? Still doesn't make them my friends. <laughs> Besides, I can't even remember when last I spoke to them. Oh, that's because you distance yourself from them. It is not their fault, rather yours. All right, it's not an issue here, okay? I will call them for you. Mm? Uh, mom, mom, I would rather not have a party since you don't approve of me inviting my friends, my true friends. There she goes again. Come on for me. Stop it. Mom, honestly, I'd rather not have a party. Oh, come on, sweetheart. Hey, it's your 25th birthday. You're an old woman already. Hmm? I didn't want it to be boring for you. But it's going to be so boring with them around. Mom, honestly, I'd rather not have a party. I would um, go out later in the day to some fun place and have a great time. With our mommy? Mom, it is my day. It is also my day. My daughter's day is my day. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> All right. But at least give me a chance to take you out for Chopin. Hey, I'm going to change your wigs. Bags, jewelry, new clothes, okay. just to change your wardrobe. Okay, I, I, I like that. <laughs> Criminal, you're just like your father. <laughs> well, let me go get ready so we go shopping. All right, baby, <laughs> Thanks, go on. Mom.
so much, Mom. <laughs> Thanks again, Mom. Come on, sweetheart. It's nothing. Anything for my angel. But are you sure you still do not want your party? Oh, no, Mom. You've done quite a full lot. Mm. I'll um, just go upstairs, change and step out. It's all right. I hope... You are not going to meet with those people I warned you about, those your friends. Oh, Mom. Anyway, I know I raised you up properly. Mm hmm? And I'm sure you're not in contact with any of them anymore. <laughs> All right, I'll just go and rest. Mm hmm? Okay, Mom. Have fun. Thank you, Mom. Be here. See you. you. Bye, Jo. <laughs> <laughs> She's coming. Just wait for her. She will come. Okay. Thank you. Good morning. Hey. Are you playing? Yes. Okay. Here. Yeah. Happy birthday. Thank you, but who is this from? Uh, sender's name is Harriet. Oh, oh my God. Okay, that's why Harriet was calling me to know when I'll be back home. <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> You know, for a second, I thought I was given the wrong address because there's no music coming from the inside to indicate that there's any birthday or party or anything going on. Oh, that. Well, I'm not throwing a party. Oh. Mm hmm Okay. <laughs> anyway, just sign here. Sure. Thank you. Well, happy birthday, party or no party. Thank you. Um, uh... If you're truly wishing me a happy birthday, can I please see your face? Can you at least take off your face mask and helmet? Okay. My name is Bjorden. Oh, nice. Um, wait me. <laughs> yes, I, I know it. Oh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Um, thank you so much for the delivery. I'm just doing my job. Yeah, thanks. All right. All right, bye. Bye, bye. Hey, birthday girl! <laughs> <laughs> Hi. 
Harriet. I bet I didn't see this coming. Thank you. It's so lovely. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Figured I could send you a present if I can't be there with you to celebrate your birthday. Right? Well, we're going out. You and I. I was going to call you. You're not having a party. Nope. I was going to come pick you up. We're going to celebrate together. Oh, okay. But I'm at work. I'll be leaving the office by 6 p.m. Oh, that. You're working today? It's 7 p.m. too late. <laughs> yes. My mom wouldn't want me to stay out late and I'm not ready for her grammar today. So, maybe we should just forget about it. No, no, hurry it. I understand, okay? It's fine. All right? Yeah. Thank Bye. you Happy again. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, what's up with you? Any updates with uh, job hunting? See, uh, in this country, I just noticed one thing. Before one will secure a better job, you get to know someone. What? You are the one that wants to stay idle. I have told you, manage whatever you can find until you get something better. But you don't want to listen. I don't understand. You mean I should be doing delivery like you from one door to another? Come on, I'm too big for that shit now. You know. Uh -uh. Sorry, you. No vex. You get for me, big boy, and stop screaming in my ear. Look, me, I know I deserve better than this job. All right? But the job is actually not so bad because I am sustaining myself. And it's even low key fun sometimes. Riding bike is risky. Talk more of riding it every day. Well, me, I'm careful. I love my job. And very soon, I am going to be starting up my own delivery company. Wait and see. <laughs> ah, CEO. Wait. <clears throat> you mean in 10 years to come? Because you and I know that you don't have such money to even start that kind of business. Welcome to the dream. I let you go. Come and join me. I will pass. Hey, hey, okay. I didn't even just you. Look, I met this beautiful, drop dead, gorgeous woman this morning. Listen, her smile is. She's out of this world. She's something else. Where did you meet her? Well, I, I delivered a parcel to her. I swear I was this close to complimenting her beauty, but, you know, I didn't really want to cross boundaries. You see, you see why I cannot do this kind of your job? How can you see it? How can I see someone that I like, but I won't talk to her simply because of company's policy? Look, it's not just because of company policy. Look, she seems very classy, but what if she takes offense and finds it disrespectful and maybe reports me or something? Because you're a dispatch rider. Look, I sincerely wish I had taken that chance. At least, you know, get to know her, maybe become friends. She seemed quite nice. Biodu, she might decline being friends with you. So it's better you don't try it to avoid being slapped. No, she doesn't seem like that type of woman. So we don't know to give it a try. <sighs> you sure you don't want to join? It's not the one that after I've gone halfway through now, you, you, you'll be doing eye like this. I have only one spoon. I've been on that spoon, so I'll join you. You are not a visitor in this house. Go and collect it. <clears throat> no, don't worry. You should be spoon of the hunger deal. I'm glad you stopped by. I woke up this morning, you know, feeling a little sick. Hence, I couldn't come to the office. Oh. You know, I would have actually sent one of the workers to come pick it up. But I understand how confidential it is. 
It's a good thing you stopped by yourself. Uh, morning, Mom. Morning, morning. morning. Stepping out? Yeah, my phone charger got bad, so I just have to go get another one. Oh. I would like you to meet um, Diamond. Diamond is Honorable Oza's son. He's taking over his father's part of the company. So, you'll be working alongside with him when you decide to join the company. Oh. Hi. Hello. Meet my precious jewel. Her name is Wayne, my only daughter. It's a pleasure meeting you. Same. You are really beautiful. Thanks. Mom, I have to go now. All right. Uh, drive carefully. <clears throat> well, I noticed you couldn't get your eyes off my daughter. Oh. <laughs> She's really charming. I mean, who wouldn't stay? Thank you. Well, uh, like I said earlier, she'll be joining the company very soon and both of you will be working together. You know, it gives both of you room to family rise. I'll definitely love that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I guess this is all. That's all. Then uh, okay. your father has the other coffees. Okay. get my mind off this dude. I mean, I don't even know him. Ah, oh, but he's so cute. Maybe he has cast a spell on me. Hey, baby girl. Oops, Daisy, you're sleeping already. I'm so sorry, okay? I'm going to call you tomorrow. Uh -uh. Talk to What's up? Um, I just called to request for Biodun's contact. Biodun? Who is that? Biodun, the dispatch rider who got the present he got for me on my birthday. Oh. No, 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 no. Um, it's just that I'll be needing his services. He does all my delivery. Uh, I'll send you his number by morning, please. I'm very drowsy right now. All right. Thanks, Harriet. All right, Good my night. Good night. Bye. Oh, my God. Did I just do that? Mm. Oh, my God. That's going to be me. I'm off to the gym. Meaning? Come on, I thought you should be resuming today at the office. Oh, please, can we not start this now? It's too early to argue. What do you mean by that? It's been over two weeks now. I mentioned this to you. What is wrong with you? 
Is it hard for you to decide? Mom, I have decided. I want to do me. Oh. I don't want to walk on the path you've already created. I want to work for myself. I want to create and map out my own path, Mom. That's foolery. What has come over you? I'm asking you. This is an opportunity that a lot of people are looking for. They want to grab this opportunity and make do with it. But here you are, messing your own up. Hey, now you listen to me. You are resuming by next week, and that's fine now. <laughs> okay. Okay, what? I'll be resuming at your company next week. Oh, what? Oh. oh. <laughs> can really? I, yeah, can I go now? That's nice. Sure. Bye bye. Ooh. <laughs> what a switch. Come in. Um, I, you, you sent for me, ma. Yeah, okay. Um, I'll be expecting the same delivery guy from the other day. So please, he's going to be here any moment from now. When he comes, let him inside here. Oh, he, yeah. should, he should cross the gates and come into the pond. Yes, I want him to pick up a parcel. All right? Okay, that's what thing. Hey. How are you? I'm fine. Um, please sit. Let me go get the package. Okay. Sorry, wait. Are you? This is Amashia's daughter. Yeah. Oh, wait, so you're telling me that I'm standing in the living room of Mrs. Omashia, the great Mrs. Omashia. Let me go get the package. Oh my God! He's so cute. He's so cute, and I'm so nervous. Okay. What am I? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I meant to get this. And this. This. This one. Um, okay. This goes in first. How can one man be like that? Am I really doing this? Just go in. Okay. Take a deep breath.
here. Um, in there we have three clothes and a pair of shoes. Um, how much? Where? What? I mean, you haven't told me where I'm taking them to. Oh, um, you're taking them to Harriet. The same lady who sent a parcel through you on my birthday. Oh, okay. Um, well, since it's um, offline delivery, I will uh, charge you only 3K. Oh, that's, that's so nice of you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> and you, you look quite nice as well, if I'm allowed to say. Yeah, you're allowed to. Thanks. Um, yeah. This is 5k. Yeah, that's, that's for keeping you waiting. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. I, I really appreciate it. Thank you too. Please, can I um, save your number? I'll be needing your services often. Sure, why not? All right, thank you. All right, thank you. I'll, I'll be on my way. Have a nice day. Uh, you too. Bye. Me to come in here with you after I've promised myself not to ever step foot into this house after your mother embarrassed me. Harriet, come off it now. I thought we've gone past this. I know, but I'm not supposed to be here. Please, I don't want any trouble. I don't want any trouble. There's no trouble coming up. I brought you inside my room. Besides, my mother is out of town and she won't return until evening. All right, sit. Mm. Question. Why did you send me those stuff yesterday? Can't I send my friend gifts anymore? Uh -uh. It's not even my birthday yet, so wait, wait, wait. Mm. So you actually asked me for the delivery guy's number just to send me shoes and clothes. <laughs> what am I missing? Okay. Um I sent you those stuff, not because I wanted to, but because I wanted to see Bjordan again. Huh? <laughs> wait, wait, I'm confused. I like him. A lot. You like the delivery guy? Yes, Harriet. I've not been able to get him off my mind since the last time I met him. The thought of him gives me butterflies in my belly. Hey. <laughs> Where are you me? Hmm. Where are you me? Oh, take it easy, you. <laughs> you know the kind of mother that you have and you're falling for a delivery guy. Oh, please, get my mother off this. She has already made me to accept a job in her company so she can tell me how to feel about anyone. Oh. Right? I wish I can see him again. I just want to see him. <laughs> Where <are you> me? <laughs> I don't have a good feeling about this, so don't go and put someone's son in trouble. I'm begging you. Ha! Harriet, I'm... Do you think um, I should call him? I mean, I, I want us to see, I want us to talk, I just want us to go out, I want to get to know him more. Do you think I should call or text him? What do you think? <laughs> Harriet, I'm asking you, please, this is not fair now, I'm serious. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Okay, just do what you want, just do whatever your heart tells you to. But that's not an answer, you know, right? Babe, that's all I can say. In fact, I have to start going now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where do you think you're going to? Huh. Harriet, you just got in here. 
and you haven't even been here for long. Besides, you are off today, so where do you want to go to? It's not fair now, you're not going anywhere. You're staying here with me. Once beaten, twice shy. Ah, ah, ah. I beg I go. I cannot stay here again. Ah, ah. Let's go and take my spot. You don't want to stay here. Bye. Thank you for the shoes and bag. Bye. <laughs> Harriet, hold up. Let me go and see you all. Plus, I hate you. Come in. Hello. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Fine, thank you. And you? I'm all right. I'm doing fine. I can see you're settling in quite fine. <laughs> well, it actually feels good to have you around because we've been expecting you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much <laughs> once again. <laughs> you're welcome. Um, how about taking you out for lunch this afternoon? Um, thank you very much, but I'll be leaving in a bit. I only came here to get acquainted with those I'll be working with. I'll be resuming officially tomorrow. Okay, that's no problem. In that case, why don't we do it during the weekend? Just you and I. Uh, my weekend is occupied. I don't understand. I mean, when will you ever be free? I just want us to go out, sit, eat, talk, and get to know each other better. I am not the one to beg a woman for a date. Why are you acting up? Acting up? Why would I be acting up when the decision is fully mine whether or not to go on a date with you? You know what? You're actually right about that. Maybe when you make up your mind, you know where to find me. Have a good day. Oh, ho, ho. such arrogance. I'm sure he must think highly of himself. Rubbish. Wow, just wow. Come in, Mom. Hello, Madam. Hey, Mom. <laughs> Come here, you. Tell me, beautiful. How was your first day at work? Very well. Diamond introduced me to everyone and I got to familiarize with them. Hmm. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, talking about Diamond, the young man is a type we call an eligible bachelor. Don't you think so? What? He's cute. Very cute guy. Rude and arrogant. It's not true. Diamond is well raised and carries himself well as he should. You know what? I think both of you will be great together. Oh, no, 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 Mom, please. I'm so sorry to disappoint you, but I do not like him one bit. Uh uh. Mom, he's so full of himself. And Jeez. that's the kind of a man you need in your life. Believe me, the man that will teach you how to carry yourself with respect. Arrogance isn't carrying oneself with respect. Mom? Mama, relax. Relax, sweetheart. Mm. Believe me. Just leave him. He's good. I'm sure when you get to know this guy better, you will realize that he's a sweet guy. Mm -hmm. Just... Give the young man some benefit of doubt. All right. Let me allow you to rest now. You've really tried for the day. <laughs> okay. 
In case you're hungry, there's food in the kitchen for you. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. <laughs> Oh my god. in such a hurry to go home. It's close of work and I'm tired. All right, no problem, I understand. I mean, you've been giving me excuses for weeks now concerning going on a date with me. And I've been patiently waiting for your response. Um, I've been quite occupied. You don't want to go on this date with me, do you? Um, I'm sorry, but yes, I do not want to go on a date with you. I'm not comfortable around you. Why? Mm, let's just say we do not have anything in common. How could you say a thing like that? I mean, running this company after our parents, I think it's enough reason for you to know that we have a lot in common. There is more to friendship and relationship than just running a company. Come on. Really? You know, it's really obvious you don't want to go on this date with me. But it's all good. 
be safe. Such attitude. Like he's just so arrogant. Wait, wait. Does he not realize that to win a heart like yours, you actually have to be patient? <laughs> he's not winning my heart no matter how long he waits. What? Why are you smiling? No, oh, nothing. I'm just... Just marvel that God's creation. You're so pretty. <laughs> you sing this in my ears every single day. What can I do? I can't help myself. Um, so I was I was thinking, I'm I'm actually free tomorrow and I would like to take you out on a date if it's convenient with you, of course. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so Say tomorrow at 4 p.m. Perfect. That's that's great. Okay. <laughs> I can't wait to see you. Same here. I should let you get some sleep. I know you have to be up early. All right. So, uh, have a good night. Good night. Bye-bye. <laughs> Beautiful space. Thank you. Now please make yourself comfortable. Thanks. Um, thank you so much for the dates. I had such a great time. I haven't had such a great time in a long while. Why? You don't hang out with friends? I told you about my mom. She's so difficult, she won't let me. Most times I wish I could go back to the university where I was free to do whatever I wanted in school. Um, <clears throat> it's, it's getting late. First you didn't want me to come to your house. Now you're sending me off so quickly. No, it, it's not that. It's just, it's just that I, I'm concerned for your safety, that's all. But it's just past 8 p.m. and I drive. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay? I am sorry. Put a smile on that face for me. Look. If I could keep you here all night, I would. Wait, I mean, I'm in love with you. Are you sure about this? You have no idea how long I've waited for this. Why are you not taking your calls? 
Mom, I'm so sorry. I was on my way back when you were calling. And I didn't want to take a call while driving. I'm so sorry. I didn't even know you went out. I went to your room. That was when I realized that you were not at home. Please now. Always inform me of your whereabouts. I'm sorry, Mom. <laughs> you know what? I almost called Diamond to ask him where he took my daughter. Hmm? He's been taking all your attention. I'm, I'm jealous. Oh. You went out with him, didn't you? Um, yeah, y yes. I knew it. I knew it. He has been the one teaching you how to keep late nights because I know you're not used to it. So, tell me. How did it go? Um, fine. Just fine. Well, have you seen it? He's a wonderful guy. I told you that time. Give him a chance. You will realize that he's a good guy. And I'm glad you did. I'm glad you gave him a chance. I didn't. He's not... Oh, quit the pretense. What's there? Hmm? <laughs> the most important thing is that I give the consent, I'm aware, so that's it. It means nothing. Well, I'll go up now, freshen up, have my own good time. Is Uncle Arinza in? <laughs> well, he came in this afternoon. Oh, <laughs> my <laughs> regards to him and please sure. tell him to stay a little longer. Why? <laughs> you should know Arinza is a very busy man. So much love this guy. Yeah, I do. Hmm. You know, my heart skipped when our lips touched. I felt my body electrifying. Oh my god! Oh, that sounds so sweet. <laughs> but wait, though. Does your mom know you're dating anyone? Yeah, but she thinks it's diamond. <laughs> <laughs> so for how long will you keep on pretending it's diamond? Well, I don't know, but I don't want my mom to ruin whatever I'm having with Bjorn, please. <laughs> hey, babes, all hell will break loose if your mom should find out that you're dating a dispatch rider. A whole daughter of the almighty Mrs. Omashe. Hey. Well, <laughs> that's why I said I'm ready to hide it for as long as I can. I mean, I, I can't let my mom ruin my happiness. Okay, besides, Pyodo makes me so happy like a baby. He makes me feel like a kid. Mm. I go love her. <laughs> <laughs> to me, I've seen how I brought love your way now. If I hadn't brought you a birthday gift through that dispatch, I would have met him. Ah, uh, yeah, right. But something in me tells me that fate would have brought us together. Mm. Like we're meant to be together. Mm. Nature. Mm. Forces of nature would have brought us together. Mm. Something, somehow, <laughs> somewhere. I don't know. But we're meant to be. Meant to be. <laughs> Honestly. Be careful, no. You know your mom. Oh, be please. <laughs> I wish you find out. Babe, I'll be leaving soon for some deliveries. Yeah, babe. Same. I'll just return to the office as you leave. Yeah, that reminds me. 
when did you resume job hunting? I mean, I, I never stopped job hunting. I guess I just haven't been lucky. Maybe you haven't been applying to the right firms. Which ones are the right firms? Look, I've submitted my CV to both companies that are hiring and even companies that didn't announce any vacancies. You have no idea how many recruiting firms I've registered with. I've been trying. <sighs> okay, um, let's do it this way. How about you send me a copy of your resume and we'll see how it goes. Um, <clears throat> okay. You hesitated. Babe, don't you want me to help? No, babe, it's, it's not that. It's just... Look, I've, I've been thinking of starting up my own thing. Right? I've been saving up some money and I have my entire plan drawn out. Wow. Good. That's really good. Thank you, babe. Look, it's just taking some more time because, because of funds, but I believe that very soon everything will work out. All right, babe. Um... I'll make sure to get a very good job for you so you can save up and start up high. Okay? I'm so proud of you, babe. You have your life planned out. You are doing so well and it's impressive. It's really good to know. Thank you, babe. You know, people like us that were not born with silver spoons, we have to sit up, right? Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Can you promise me something? What's that? Promise me that you never leave me. Us. No matter what happens. Babe, where is this coming from? I just want you to promise me. You know I love you too much to give up on us. I promise you. Thank you. <laughs> Are you sure you have to go for this delivery? Yes, I have to. And you have to get back to the office. Okay, all right, I'll let you go. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Hi, Gloria. Good afternoon, ma'am. How are Hi, you? Fine, ma'am. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. Diamond. Yes, ma'am. How are you? I'm doing fine, ma'am. Come on, we haven't seen for a very long time. What's the matter? You're actually right about that, man. So why haven't you stopped by the house to see your girlfriend? Girlfriend? We, me and I are not dating. <laughs> so typical of you to deny that they're in a relationship. Come on, both of you are adults. I am aware. I give my consent. So why deny? <laughs> Ma'am. We are barely even friends. So, how about the late night dates and the long calls? Did you think I'm not aware? That is definitely not me. I know I asked her out and she turned me down. And ever since then, all we have is just working relationship. Is that so? But did she tell you we're dating? Yes! No, 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 no. Um, not at all. I'm sorry. Sorry for the misconception. I understand, ma'am. I actually wanted to do something really serious with her. But she declined. And I'm not the kind of man that goes about stalking a woman. I understand. She's in the office, right? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> My regards to your father, Diamond. He will definitely be here. <sighs> All right, Diamond. Welcome, ma'am. Thank you very much. Yes, Uncle Clarinze. Uh, he has a degree in finance. Please, could you help him secure a good position in a good firm? Yes, he's very capable. Okay, sir. I'm counting on you. 
Thank you so much, sir. All right, sir. Come in. Bye. Mom, you didn't tell me you would be coming. Well, I didn't plan to. I just decided to stop by. Is everything all right? So, did you not tell me you were going out with Diamond? Um, I never told you that, Mom. You only assumed. So who is this person you've been going out with? Others why? Mom, I'm seeing someone, okay? Interesting. And you didn't think it was necessary for me to know this person you're seeing. You made me assume that you were seeing Diamond. Now, what if something had happened to you and I held the young man responsible? Mom, nothing is happening to me. Oh, come on, quit pretending. As if you're not seeing what is happening these days on social media. How boyfriends kill their girlfriends and, you know, things like that. Mom, no one is killing anyone. Certainly not the other. I see. That's his name. Biodu. So, who is this person and what does he do for a living? Mom, are you going to tell me that you came all the way to my office to interview me? I'm, I'm at work, Mom. Now shut up and stop talking. <sighs> okay. Um, Biodu is an engineer, although he has businesses here and there. Hmm. <laughs> and his parents? Mm, his parents, they stay overseas. Biodun was born and raised there. He only returned to Nigeria not long ago. I see. But I wanted a name. <sighs> Mom, I'm, I'm not sure you know them. But trust me, he's from a really good home, okay? Wealthy too. I would have still preferred Diamond, his ever woman's dream. Not this girl, mommy. Sorry. All right. Invite this person over. I would like to meet him. Sure. All right. So. What have you been up to? Working. Uh. Hey, Mom. Hey. Welcome. Hey, Joseph. I'm just so very hot. I am going to see the other. Mm -hmm. It's been weeks now you promised to invite this young man over. So, uh, does it mean you don't want me to see him or what? Oh, no, Mom, of course not. I really do want him to meet you. But the thing is, he's been so busy at work. I see. Busy. I like that. Today's Saturday. And you're going to see him. Why don't you invite him over instead? Um, Mom, I think this cost that with me. I'll just go see him and return and leave him with me. How about that? This was what you told me the last time. Are you playing with me or what? No, 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 Mom, I'm not playing with you. You know what happened the last time? Something came up and I told you. And don't worry, okay? I'll bring him to this house soon. He actually wants to meet you more. <laughs> he can't wait. All right. <laughs> All right, Mom. Gotta go. Goodbye, Mom. My regards to him. Sure.
get it covered. That's for now. What's the good news? You sounded quite excited. You got the job. Don't play with me. <laughs> Are you being serious? <laughs> yes, like, babe. Seriously. You got the job. Yes! Oh, thank you, babe. I'm so excited. You're welcome. <laughs> Are you expecting someone? Yes. My friend Martins. Finally, both of you agreed to get to meet each other. Oh, for the first time. okay. Come in. The door is open. I'm so happy, babe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm so happy. Mom! Mom, this is not the trenches. Fine boy. What do you do for a living? Mom. Hey! Cuz the trouser on your west doesn't look like what someone who grew up in the US would wear. I'm, I'm a dispatch rider. No, 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 no. Was a dispatch rider. He, he got employed. Oh! I made you! Enough! Enough of your stupidity! What is this? A dispatch rider? Wait me. You don't even have an iota of respect for yourself. Take a 
he's not broke. He's comfortable. Really? Ooh. I can see how comfortable he is. Hey, is it that you're rich or you're poor? There's no in between. Now I give you just 60 seconds to leave this environment. Starting from now, one. No, mom, no, I, I can't do that, mom. I'm no longer a child. I'm an adult, mom. I'm not going. Are you talking back at me? Babe, please, just, just do what she says, please. Babe, what effantry. Now you hear me well, fine boy. I don't want to see anything that has bread like you around my daughter again. The day you will try it, you will smell dead. Now get out. Pick that bag. has to stop. For how long will this continue? This just has to stop. I can't take it anymore. Mom, what's all this? Huh? For how long will this continue? When will you ever stop? You should be thanking me for saving you from the hands of that criminal. Oh, Mom, Biodun is not a criminal. He is my boyfriend and I love him. Are you ah! mad? How fair you talk about loving my presence. Loving who? Mom, this is the second time you're hitting me today. How else can I define oppression? How else? I'm going to keep. Oppressing you over and over and over again till you get back to your senses. Can you imagine? My only daughter dating a man who cannot even afford an ordinary air condition in his oh, house. Mom, please. Shame. You should stop looking down on the people. Piodun is a hardworking man, Mom. He is growing. What else are we talking about here? Oh, really? Yes. Then if you were so proud of him, why did you lie to me? Why? Why did you lie to me about his profession? You told me he's a software engineer. He grew up in the US. But the dirty idiot I saw there doesn't look like one who has left this country. Well, mom, because I am tired. I was tired of your drama. I am tired of everything. Oh, really? That's why. This is what he has turned you into. You now raise your voice at me. Hear me? I'm asking you. He has nothing to do with this. I've been with you, Mom. I've been with you all these years. And all these years, you have been controlling my life and I let you. First, you made me take up a job in your company. And I let you. And now you want to take over my love life? No, Mom. I won't let you do that. No. You were so ungrateful. You were so mean. That's what you are, Mom. You are mean. You claim to love me. But you don't even care about my happiness. she bust into your house just like that and insult you. That girl doesn't, she doesn't have such right. Look, I was not expecting that at all. 
she obviously treats me with respect. I beg, I beg, I, I won't take that rubbish from you. If I wear your shoe, I'll walk out of my house. Ha. There is no way I could have possibly done that. That's why you're missing mother. So now that you've discovered that she's not in support of your relationship with her daughter, what are you going to do? I don't even know. I'm just so confused. That's why you need to call it a quit. Now that it's too early. Yes. Are you being serious right now? How can you even advise me that? I love this girl. What about her mom? What are you going to do about her? That woman is threatening your life. She's calling. This is the right time to call it a bit. Just do it. You can do that. Hello, babe. Baby, I'm sorry about earlier. It's fine. I hope you didn't get worse at home. I just had to give her a piece of my mind. She's really doing too much. She's going to blame me for your rebelliousness. I feel so bad at how rudely she spoke to you. Is she always like that? Honestly, my mom has always had an issue with the kind of friends I keep right from when I was a child. Harriet can't even come visit. Well, that's serious. Yeah, but trust me, okay? I'm going to stand up for myself this time. I won't let her have her way, all right? Babe, I, I hear you, but please just, just be careful. I, I saw the way she slapped you here. I just don't want you getting hurt. I'm already used to it. It's really sad I didn't get to meet your friend. Yeah, I know. He's here. Um, I'm sure there will be another time. All right, babe. I have to leave you now. I'll forward your letter of employment to your email address, okay? Thank you, babe. I love you. I love you too. Really? Look, guy, I love this babe. Okay, that's a fact. I love her and I'm not just going to walk away because one small sign of trouble. You know what? I'm so disappointed at you. It's so obvious that no man can advise someone who is already in love. But you know what? Don't say I did not tell you. I warned you. Hmm? Well, on a lighter note, guess what? What? I have a job now. Wow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> congratulations. Thank you. I can't believe you served good news for last. Yeah. Congratulations, man. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Wow. <sighs> That's good. Please, I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry for what? For lying to me? Or for disrespecting me? Which one? I'm, I'm sorry for talking back at you. I was upset at the time and I wasn't thinking straight. And I'm so sorry, Mom. Just because I want the best for you. Because I'm trying to protect you. Hear me? When will you get it? Poor people have nothing to offer. Rather than envy, jealousy, backbite, wickedness. And before you know it, they will stab you right in the back. Mom, please. I didn't ask you to see it. Mommy, please don't now. Mommy. Building is not like that, Mom. He truly loves me and he can never do such to me. Really? That was exactly what I thought of your father before. He did what he did to me. You are not a child anymore. You know everything. I gave your father my time, my life, my love and everything. But what did I get in return? 
my best friend snatched your father away from me after all I did for them. Mom. I know, Mom. I know that people have really betrayed you in the past. But people are different, Mom. Not everyone is like my daddy and, and, and um, your best friend. But they all have one thing in common. Which is poverty. <laughs> hey, Yemi. You have no idea what poor people can do to you. Especially to their rich friends. They can kill you for what you have. They are only around you just because of what they gain from you. And that's it. Mom. Please, Mom. If you truly love me just as the way you tell me every day, please. Do this one thing for me. This one favor. Which is? Accept me your doom. He's a nice man. He is he is so good and he loves me. He's hard working. He has his life all planned out, mommy. Mommy, do you know that Biodo has never asked me for anything? Brother, he's the one that gifts me. Mommy, please, I believe that Biodo will make it. I he's so determined to, to make it in life, and I truly believe. Mommy, I believe that he will make it in life. Trust me, Mom. Believe me. Enough. That's it. I will never, never will I allow you to be with that boy. Mm -mm. You have to give Diamond a chance and you will be thankful in the end. End of discussion. Good night. Hello, Amos. Now listen to me. I want my daughter under strict surveillance. Update me on where she goes every single day. Now she has left the house and she's headed to the office. So I want you to take it up from there. It's all right. I miss you. I, I miss you too, but I'm worried. What if your mother shows up here again? Relax, babe. There's no way my mom will know I'm here. Besides, Diamond and I are supposed to have a meeting with some foreign clients. But I fake illness because I want to see you. 
<laughs> so he's having the meeting with them. I still think we should have waited at least a week before meeting up again. Ah, <sighs> babe, calm down. You know what a week means? Have you forgotten that you're starting your new job by next week? And you know what happens by then? You won't be in this house more often. So please, calm down. I just got here to see you. Or you're not happy to see me? Of course I'm happy to see you, babe. I just think we should be more careful. Are you cooking? What are you cooking? Beans. Ooh, beans. You seem to me like a good cook. Oh, wait till you have a taste first before you start complimenting me. No, the way you're holding this, I can already feel it. It's not like the way you hold it. I have a taste of it. Whatever, it doesn't really taste nice. It's good to see you. It's good to see you too. Can <laughs> you help? What do you want me to do? I won't stop. Alright. Look really nice. Thank you. <laughs> I wish I didn't have to leave now. Me too. <gasps> Listen. One day, very soon, I will be worthy of you in your mother's eyes. And I'll come and ask for your hand in marriage. I can't wait for that day to come. But I'll keep convincing her until she sees how hard my heart beats for you. What's going on? Are you sure she's here? Because I can't find her car anywhere around here. I'm very sure, ma. She left the office in a young man's car. I think they walked together. Then she stopped along the road and ordered the boat ride that brought them here. I'm very sure, ma. I'm very sure. Let's go. Expecting someone? No. Are you expecting someone? It's, what? It's your mom. Oh my god! It's your mom. Oh my god! I'm finished. Oh my god. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't. Maybe. Maybe I should hide here. Okay, there's no place you can possibly hide here. No. Look around you. I hide here. She will not come you. Have you have this bad to sneak you out of. Okay. Okay. Fine. Fine. I'll call the police. I'll call, call the police or your mom? Have you forgotten who we are talking about here? Now, if you do not open this door, I will tell my men to pull down this house. I'm finished. No, you're not. I'm finished. Wait, no, let's, let, let's stay in here and... Look, I'm just going to have to open the door so they don't break it down. I'm going to have to open the door. No, 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 don't. Don't, 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 don't. I thought I gave you a strict warning the last time I came to this, your rat hole. Now you want to see the beast in me, right? Please. Okay. Now I'm going to teach you a lesson you will never forget in a hurry. Deal with him! Oh, <sighs> 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 
please come. Please come and help me, please. Please come. <laughs> Mom, I can't take this anymore. I just can't take this anymore, Mom. Why do you do that to him? Mom, the other is not the problem that Daddy abandoned you. Neither am I the problem. Why do you like taking your frustration on innocent people? Oh, tomorrow you're going to thank me later. No, Mom, I will never. I will never thank you. My entire life, you've only given me material things and taken away people that make me genuinely happy. Why? I haven't had any contact with Daddy. All because of what he did to you. I stopped seeing him. I joined you to chastise him. I wholeheartedly accepted the lover you brought into this home. So why can't you just make me happy? Why can't you just accept people that actually bring happiness to my life, Mom? Really? My lover is a minister of finance and not some broke-ass guy. Oh, really? You know what, Mom? I am done. I can't stay under the same roof with you. I'm leaving this house, Mom. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Okay, okay, come here, open the gates. I need to leave this place. Please open up the gates. Open the gates already. Open the gate for me already. I can't. I have to leave. What do you mean by you can't? See, Madame gave me strong and clear instruction not to allow you out of this house, no matter the reason. <laughs> no, no. See, I'm only doing my job, I'm sorry. Okay, okay, how, how about we do it this way, okay? Um, give me the key, let me just go out, let me open the gate and go, and then if she asks you, you tell her I forced it out of you. How about that? Is that okay? How about, you know me well now, I'm a very high trained season security man. Doing that kind of thing is only allowing me to lose my job. If my dad will sack me, I can't. I can't stay here anymore. I can't stay here anymore. I just have to leave. I don't want to stay with her anymore, please. I don't want to stay in this house anymore. I just want to leave, please. I'm sorry. Please, I beg you. Sorry. Just take me out of this place. Look how hard they beat you up like a thief. You, you, you can't even barely work properly. I swear that woman is so heartless. Who ended up spending the money without me for something better on drugs? Thanks for coming to my rescue. I, I really appreciate it. It's fine. That's why you need to call it a wit, now that you are still alive. The only person where they are alive, they love more. You know how dangerous this street people can be? My brother, they don't care how you feel. They always know how to get away with their atrocities. So even if she kills you, nobody knows. And only God knows what she will do to you the next time she will see you. you're going to pick the call. I'm glad you know better now. Uh, 
I'll be going back to the class now. The, the break time is over. Uh, you know how these children behave before my people will cause nuisance in the in the classroom. I'll check on you, David. Okay. No problem. Thank you. It's all right. So let me take your drugs. Let me keep it here. Sorry. Okay. I've been living in now. I don't even know what to do anymore. My mom will let me out of the house. I feel so helpless now, eh? I really wish there's something I could do to help. <sighs> Biotun hasn't been taking my call or text for days now. I don't know if he's okay. I just hope he's I just hope he's fine. I think he's fine, you know. But he needs some time. He knows the risk of communicating with you right now. Just give him time, okay? I'm trying to stop crying, please, eh? Okay. Okay, thanks. I have to attend to work on my desk now. Bye bye, my okay. Bye. bye. Come on, open the, the, the gate for me, please. You see, I don't know why you want to put me for problem. I've told you, Madam said, I should not allow you out of this house. What do you want to put me for problem? What problem here? She's not around. I can quickly go out and return before she gets back. Please. No, I hear you like, like, like you don't know, Madam. Madam, Madam does not have timetable for her movement. She can move in and move out at any time. You, you, you know, so please, doing this thing would endanger me to lose my job. Okay, and please, now open this gate, now open this gate, let me go out quickly. Please, I don't want to lose this soft job. Oh, open up, let me go out! See, I, I feel you, I feel you, do you understand? Just go inside and, 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 feel, and feel comfortable, do you understand? Mm -hmm. Why? Why? Open this gate, okay? Don't, you are making me have mixed feelings, I don't like this thing. Please. So I told you now, have you seen it? <laughs> I told you, is, 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 you want to put me into trouble? not looking cheerful today. Is there anything the matter? I've been locked in this house for days now and I want to go out but he won't let me go out. Why? Ah, see, you know, I like adhering to instructions. Madame gave me a very strict instruction not to allow her out of this house. Less. I lose my job. You know, this is a soft job. <laughs> okay. I can see you are a set of machine. The garbage information and garbage it out. Eh? For my safety. For your information, this house is not a prison yard. Neither is it an ivory tower for loneliness. Leave her to go out immediately. <clears throat> Sir? I say leave her to go out. I'll take full responsibility for whatever happens. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You know, you know, I have so much regard and respect for you, you know. You know, so on that note, <laughs> who am I? You are nobody, yes. You are a nobody. So open the gate so that she can go out. Uh, by the way, why are you not going out with your car? 
Um, well, I am not in the mood to drive. In that case, um, don't stay long. You hear? Yes, Uncle. Thank you so much, Uncle. I'll be back in no time. Thanks. Stay safe. Oh, no! Your responsibility. <laughs> when Madam comes, it's your responsibility, sir. <laughs> I lose my job. <laughs> Look at soft, soft, soft work. <laughs> How can I lose a soft? <laughs> Well, at least you get to rest on the weekends. I don't even know how I'm supposed to resume work looking like this. Like, what do I tell them happened? But I can imagine. Who's there? I'm so sorry you had to go through this because of me. Lord, I missed you. I missed you so much. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. You, you should not be here. I really wanted to see you. My mom locked me in for days. I had to sneak out of the house. You should leave, please. I know I will leave, but I promise you're going to take my calls from now on, okay? All right? Look, there's no point. What's going on? Look, Ray and me have fallen so deeply in love with you, which makes this even harder, but it's what's best for both of us. What are you saying? Look at your eyes. They are red and swollen because I'm sure you've been crying them out. And look at me, look at my body. Injuries everywhere, I can barely even walk without feeling pain. We have to end this. You... you you're giving up on us? You promise, babe. What is the point when one of us is dead? I... I, I can understand. No, really. Maybe in our next life, we'll be together. And we can love each other without anyone against us. Be strong. Come on, you did the right thing. Is it you doing to yourself? Do not tell me to calm down. Who even gave you the right to ask my daughter to leave this house? We're in an age of moral and cultural sophistication. There is no way you keep an adult locked up in a house. How long will you do that? I'm asking. I will keep doing it till she gets back to her senses. We are talking about a full grown woman. Yes. Yemi is not a child. She's not a baby. Now you're listening to me, Irene. How I choose to raise my daughter is my business. How I choose to bring her up is totally my business and not yours. 
How you choose to raise your son is not my business, so back off! Now pray she returns to this house. Because if she doesn't, I will hold you responsible. Um, Susan, are you in any way insinuating that I am a medal from Interlopa? I'm going to look for my daughter, Arinze. Pray that I find her. If I don't, this will be a goodbye case for life. Now you have your heart desires. You can as well throw a party. Serious problem. I'm so confused. Does Biodu know about it? Then you should tell him already now. What's the point? We already ended things. Eh? Hey, so do you plan on becoming a single mother? <laughs> I know that Biodu will be so happy to find out that you both are having a child together. Who knows? This could be the icing on the cake. And your mother will have no choice than to let you both be. Oh my god. God, I just wish, I hope so. Because really, I still want to have a life with Biodun. This past few days without him has been the saddest days of my life. I know, I understand. Eh? Me, I, I even have faith that you both are meant to be together. At least this pregnancy is a proof. Eh? But you just have to find a way to tell more about this thing. Eh? I will. Um, but I'll tell Biodun first. Yes, now definitely, you have to. Huh. Huh. Oh my God! How will I break this news to him? I don't <laughs> even know how to, and I'm so sure for a fact that my mom still has an eyes on me, and she will know whenever I go to see Biodo. Eh? Going to meet Biodo now is a very bad idea. Eh? The, what I would suggest now is for you to call Biodo and just talk to him about it. That, that's that's the only solution. I can't go and see him now. Well, my own is that when you put to bed, I'm going to be a baby godmother. Whether your mother like it or not. 
I said, my one, I'm serious. So. Oh Bam. my God, Harriet, please, I'm not in the mood to laugh. No, I'm telling you now, I'm going to be a god for that. So that's your problem. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm going to that house. Sorted. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, Harriet, thank you. I'm coming. Yes. Yes. Deliver for, for Mr. Biodo. Um, okay. Who is it from? Um, the sender's name is Anonymous. Sir. Um, please let me to sign you. Thank you. So good to hear your voice. Same here. Same here. Um, listen, I just, I just had a package delivered to me. Is it what I think it is? Yes, Biodun. I'm pregnant. My mother will finally let us be. Does she know yet? Um, not yet, but I'll tell her soon. I am afraid of how she reacts to the news. I'm hopeful. <sighs> I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. So we're actually having a baby. I know we're destined to be, Biodu. Maybe this is our second chance. I love you. I love you too. So, what is it you want to talk to me about? Um, Mom, I, um, I don't know how this may sound, but I thought I should let you know. I mean, that's the proper thing to do. Let me know what. I, um... Pregnant with your room. I'm bringing 
bring in shame to me. No, Mom, I didn't plan for it to happen that way, okay? Oh, really? You didn't. How else did you plan it? I ask you, when you threw your two legs open for a man oh. unprotected, open, shame on you, I will use my hand and... It has happened. It has happened already. But believe you me, festing tomorrow morning, we are getting rid of that thing you're carrying in there. Mom? Mom, what are you talking about? You want me to terminate this pregnancy? No, I, I can't do that, Mom. I won't. No. You have done it already. Believe me. You will. You cannot and will never keep the thing you are carrying in there under this roof. Never. No, Mom, then I'll leave. I'll leave first thing tomorrow morning, but to terminate this pregnancy, I will never, Mom. Jesus Christ, what has come over you, Mom? I won't do that. Oh, no, Mache. Never. Not in my house. Not in my house. Else I'm not Susan. She will not even understand that that hoodlum cannot even take care of her and the thing she's carrying in that belly. That mother of yours is very heartless. So. Right now, I hate her so much. And first thing tomorrow morning, I'm leaving this house because I don't know her anymore. Will she even let you at home? Hmm. Same way she cannot force me into terminating this baby. Either ways, I am having this child. Please be very careful, Mom. Just call me as soon as you've left the house, okay? All right. Thank you. Um, I've been trying to reach Biodun the whole day, but his phone has been switched off. I guess it's the network. I'll try tomorrow morning. Thank you. Okay, no problem. Bye. Good night. Are you really going to keep that child? Yes. My bags are packed, Mom. I'm leaving you for good. Come in. Good morning, Ma. Good morning, Ness. How are you? Very well. Mom. You brought a nurse for what exactly? Mom. What? What did you do? I need you to relax. What 
he do to me? Oh. You, you missed my, you, you missed my tea, mom. Why? Mom, why? Mom. Let's go. She wants me to abort it. I told her that I'm leaving. Coming to your place first thing tomorrow morning. Abort my own child? No. Successful. Good. Is she awake? No. How many pills did you put in her tea? Oh, come on. You asked me to put four and that's exactly what I insected there. So what took you so long in there? You stayed over two hours. She bled for some time, so I had to give her something to stop it. Come on. 
ain't nothing else to fuck it! Delivery guy, my man. How are you doing now? I'm fine. Um, I have a delivery for Miss Rainey. Oh, ha! For Miss Rainey, okay, wonderful. Ah, thank you. All right. In one hour, we'll get to her. Yeah. Boss! Boss! Boss, what? No! Boss! Oh my god! I will not stop you anymore. What is all this? You can marry a mechanic, a power wine tapper, as far as you love the person. <laughs> the rest of your life. Oh no. Have mercy upon me, oh God. Have mercy upon me. What is happening? What are you doing? What is happening? What is happening? You're here. Baby. Wake up. Baby. Wake up. Yes, yes. Can you hear me? Hmm? Why is she not answering? What is wrong with her? She's, she's not even breathing. What is wrong? Mama, wake up. Your baby, lover is here. Baby, please. Just listen wake to up. him. You can hear my voice. Please yes. wake up. I, yes. I need you to wake up. Please, has anyone called the ambulance? Yes. Please, just. Baby, please, just wake up. You can't do this to me. Right? No, no, I will no. not let you. This yes. is for the plan. Yes. For the plan. Baby, no. Please, just wake up. No. Please. Hold on. Just wake up. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You love my daughter, right? You love her. All right. What of you? What of you? to get the best reverend father. I'm going to get the best reverend father. I'm going to go heaven and earth. Oh, go heaven and earth. Oh, oh no. No, get up. Get up. Get up. Don't let your head. Get up. Leave me not with me. Please, please, please. You can't do this to me. You cannot leave me. I will let you. Hon, take it easy with yourself. You see, I want to assure you that time heals all wounds. Soon we will get over this. I promise you, we will get over this. Officers, there she is. Is this the woman you want us to arrest? Are you sure you know her? Hey, young man, mind your language. Are you out of your senses? This woman just buried her only child yesterday, and we're here talking nonsense. What is it? What? Baby, what is it? He's right. Right that uh, that what happened? Piozo is hundred percent right. Officer, I killed.
kill my daughter. Oh, officer, you don't need to mind. Don't mind her. Officer, she's not in the right frame of mind. Yes. Please, arrest me. Don't mind her. This woman just buried her daughter yesterday. You, you, you know. Stay out of this. <coughs> You should put what I told you into consideration. Yes, ma'am. To where? Please. To where? Stop this. We need to see a, 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 doc, a doctor, please. I'm a murderer. Officer, wait. She needs to see, see, see a medical doctor, please. Oh, excuse me. Please. Officer, wait now. Wait. Eh? Officer, wait. This crazy doctor. Move. Move. Thank Move to you. where? Where are you taking her to? Please. Let's go. Where are you going to? You, 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 you are in for this. You are in for this. So hard to say. It hurts so bad to know It was just a mirage This feeling we shared Was never meant to be But heaven knows it was worth The while And heaven knows you were worth Shadows. This feeling we share It was never meant to be But heaven knows It was worth